Well, hello there, lads and lassies, and welcome to my Fallout 3 review. Here, we will look at the inner workings and the outer workings, whatever that means, of this magnificent title. Of course, it is not without problems with what game is. And the biggest problem I have at the moment with this title is the fact that the opening is as long and as boring as I remember it being. In fact, I think it's actually worse. I have over 300 hours playtime with this game, so it's not an unusual occurrence to get sick of this opening after so many playthroughs. So sit back and relax as we delve into Fallout 3. So as I was saying, the intro for this game is boring as fuck, so we're just going to fast forward past it. We'll get to the meat and potatoes of the game, and that's when the game really opens up, when you first get out that vault, and you've finalised your character, and the, the sun hits your eyes, and you're like, whoa. that brightness dials back and all you're left with is the the hell of the wastes to to shape you into like whatever you want to be think of yourself as like jobby or clay or something something malleable and you just let your experience shape you it's great that way love it first port of call should really be a place called megaton but i just went walking to be honest with you there's a wee town no far from you and you'll find some fairly interesting gear in and amongst the rubble in some of the, the safes and the cabinets. Just have a wee search and you'll find a school which is full of raiders so you might want to get a wee bit of combat practice in but I, I recommend being melee if you're going to start the game because the guns are just shite in the beginning. They are pure poopy! I usually pick speechcraft or wee guns and things like that, lock picking, repair, they're all good things to start off with. Because you do a lot of fucking lock picking, a lot of hacking, the hacking mini game in this game is, well I don't know if it's shite or if I'm just shite at it, you know what I mean? Right, so this came out back in 2008, PC, PS3, Xbox 360, good that's that shite out the way we and it's as bleak as fuck, I mean the game is green, literally the whole thing's green unless you're in like a, a bunker and then it's grey so it's green and grey, so the matrix reload it, it's as bleak as fuck there's no hope left, the world's been decimated, pumped rotten into the dirt there's nothing left but fucking puddles of radiation, fucking mutants Fucking cunts with guns and knives and fucking fucking pipes and that, no, and it's all fucking dead. It's all fucking dead! Isn't it wonderful? It's a beauty of a game. Can I fucking 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 believe it, you know? It just it speaks to me on a personal level, an emotional, spiritual, jobby level, everything. Even a fucking pie and chips kind of level, do you know what I mean? It's just it's mine, it's mam eating totties, it's the game that I Entered the Fallout series, way it's the it's the game that speaks to me the most, and you always will get that. Your first game in a series is the one you're gonna love the most, no matter what. That's why folk prefer Fallout One and Two to Three, even though they're massive heaps of shite. It's the game that they entered the series into, 
Do you know what I mean? They came into that series with that game. That'll always be their favourite. Even though they're shy. Okay, good. Like I was saying, the, the mood, the, the game is bleak, man. I can't. He. It's like. It's like a graveyard. The whole world's this big, massive fucking green graveyard. And there's just monsters in it. And not all the monsters look like melted joby. Some of them are, are people and they'll attack you on sight no matter what. Some of them are nice. Some of them you get hunters that'll feed you fucking human flesh though. It's called strange meat. It's human fucking flesh. You got an all manner of massive arsenals to defeat these wallopers way, right? We'll go through the guns and we'll go through the monsters. And I'll go through some of the things that I don't like so much. So the guns, you've got your standard for your 9mm, no you don't, 10mm guns, Chinese pistol, looks like a fucking German Luger though, so I don't know what's going on there. You get your baseball bats, and your lead pipes, and your brass knuckles, your knuckle duster things, you know what, fucking smash teeth anyway. Then you've got your rocket launchers, flamethrowers, Gatlin guns, Gatlin lasers, laser rifles, plasma rifles, fucking mines, fucking hand grenades. Fucking bottles, fucking magic jobby missiles, magic fucking everything, fucking mini nukes, everything. You just fucking kill everything until it kills you back. Then you get the monsters, and you've got fucking mole rats and fucking fucking what you call the fucking flying things that fire their own shite at you. The the bloat flies. You've got fucking super mutants and centaur mutants and fucking raiders and fucking ghouls and fucking death claws. Hate the death claws though. Death claws can go run up my dick. Like right up the urethra. Bastards. Although I did find one recently and it only had like two or three bars of health left, so I wonder what the fuck it was fighting. You've got Yao Guai, which are Japanese bears that were basically just about everything you can find in here you'll find found in New Vegas. I did the New Vegas review. Uh, I did the New Vegas review first because it's my favourite of the series. But it's no. I actually have to put Fallout 3 and NV. New Vegas fucking on the same sort of pedestal because there's things that I like better about each game. I prefer the characters and the, the, the speech craft and all that in New Vegas, but I think the world's better in Fallout 3. I, I don't know, it's fuck it, it's just so weird, it's annoying as hell. So if you combine both, you'd have the perfect Fallout game. It's just that some parts of New Vegas, it's just like, it's a desert. Why did you set a nuclear fucking game in a desert? It's already a desert. It's, it's a moot point, it's like... Send it somewhere more interesting next time other than bastard and deserts. Yes, New Vegas is there, but New Vegas is fucking tiny. So the bombs didn't drop here. Are you sure they didn't drop here? It fucking looks like they did. It's a bastard mess. There's always, is, is Las Vegas just a shite hole normally? I don't know. Anybody that's from there that sees us, let me know, will you? So the creatures are quite interesting to look at, and they're tough to fight. The Yaogwai bit me like fucking quite a bit of times and took a lot of life off. I'm, I'm a bit early right enough in uh, discovering it, but I'm really just running around the place to try and get footage of different creatures so I can I can see all the variations of things, you know. Right, when you get to DC, like downtown DC, you need to use the fucking metro tunnels to navigate around because all the streets are sort of littered with bits of building and you can't always bypass them. Even though you can clearly climb over them, but it's... I, it is what it is, it's a game mechanic, right? But the, the fucking metro tunnels, man. They're shite. They're, well, the game, whole game's dark and dingy, but... I mean, it's like fucking claustrophobia times 12. And it's littered with fucking ghouls. And I just... I just kinda be fucked with it half the time. Running down there with a hunting rifle, just 
plug in all these ghouls and you'll run at the occasional super mutant. It's like the, 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 the metro tunnels aren't, aren't great and I think they could have relied on them a hell of a lot less. Just don't put buildings in the fucking way. What are you, what are you thinking, Bethesda? Oh, we've got our 200 endings. Shut the fuck up and focus on making your fucking geometry a wee bit more varied. Just a wee bit more. That's the, the, the biggest complaint I've got about Fallout 3 is everything kind of looks bleh, dingy and dark and kind of green. It all kind of looks, like, looks the same, but it's the same in New Vegas rather than being dingy and dark. It's bright and orange, but it all kind of looks kind of looks the same, so if you combine the two of them... Oh, hey, hey, hey. You combine the two of them. Oh, you play four now. Four is a fucking great map. That is a brilliant map. That is fucking sensational mappage. The story in this game shite and all. You'll complete it in about six hours, but don't play the game for just the story. You're looking for your dad, your sweet old daddy dumpling, who has left you in a vault and fucked off. Uh, a vault you weren't supposed to be able to leave, so the overseers went, Oh, you might all be fucking right, you old bastard, and killed your pal. And then I found him and battled him to death with a baseball bat. There he is! Gotcha! Your father was a treasure oh. and a coward! Right there! You're no better than you. Oh. And then the wee bird that he likes or the character likes in the game is like, You killed my dad, so well, your dad killed my pal. Fuck you. Yeah, what did you give me a gun for? Then what do you think was here have this gun, I hope you don't need to use it. Well don't give me it then, you fucking boot. Even though it was a baseball bat I killed him with, but that's not the point. I right, see so if you, you fight the enclave in this, uh, eventually after you find your paw and you're like, Oh, we're gonna make clean water for everybody, you let us smashing. Clean water. Brilliant, right, cool. Um yeah, actually story wise that's fine. It's an it's an apocalyptic place. All the puddles are re radiated. There's very little drinking water left. That's that's a sound fucking uh, plot plot device plot thingy. Aye, good. Liam Neeson Jada. I talk about phoning it in. Jesus. Actually, his performance is okay. I don't think he does a lot of video game work. It's not as hammy as you know Darkman's performance. Get me the fucking bear, you cunt. Even though he doesn't say anything like that, but it's, you know, it's I'm paraphrasing here, okay? Fuck sake. It's not verbatim, but in saying that, the, all, for other complaints I can throw at the game, I do spend an awful lot of time in it. And you get to some fucking awesome bits, like when you get to the mall, just outside of the Washington Monument, it's amazing looking, and it's just chalk for a super mutant. And these super mutants can get fucking tough. If you've loaded the DLC up before you've played the game, you're going to get DLC level difficulty of bad guys, which is can be trying, like you'll get your uh, super mutant overlord, they're a pain in the arse. They've got a tri-beam fucking laser rifle, you'll get your albino fucking rad scorpions. They take about three hours to kill with any weapon that I've got. Like grenade launcher, rocket launcher, nuke, you name it, it takes ages to kill them and they will wallop you in a couple of good hits. So if you see an albino rad scorpion, just try and get the fuck out of the way of the thing. I don't know how right enough because they're, they're fast as fuck as well, they're huge. Rad scorpion, the man, Jesus. Fucking hell man, the game's violent and all your fucking dismemberment left and right, blowing heads off, it's great fun right enough. Blowing few people to bits and you'll see wee giblets fly around the place and it's like, yes, I want them all to burn. Burn in the fire that they created. Oh yeah, bun, baby, bun. Anyway, I'm going to think about wrapping this push up. It's been great talking to you about one of my favourite 
action RPGs. And that's what this is, but don't make the mistake in thinking, oh, it's just a first person shooter. No, that would be a mistake. You're going to come off <laughs> incredibly frustrated. It's not Call of Duty, it's not Borderlands, it's a whole other beast, and you need to treat it as such and have your expectations tailored to such a game of this type, because it does come off as dated, especially in the mushroom cloud of its younger brother, Fallout 4. I'm going to never talk about Fallout 76, I will never be reviewing that game, okay? I've done one video on it, on the beta. It's years old now. I don't like it, even though I said I did like it in the video. I don't. Scrap, shite, bollocks. Turd. Not talking about it again. Good. The next video will be Fallout 4. Adios! War. War never changes. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world, but war, war never changes. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters, and no 